Okay, so we can tell what today we're re reviewing. Nobody saves the world. There's a little top down, um, top, top down dungeon crawler. That is um, from developers Ringbox Studios. It is a nice quirky little dungeon crawler. It's a uh, main mechanic. Is um transforming into different creatures and people to best fit that dungeon. To me, the art style reminds me of Band of Isaac and Castle Crushers, who I still to this day love playing Castle Crushers. But it also reminds me of um Don't Starve too. Reminds me a little bit of that. Well, that's, that's probably just me. I like as well. If you, I don't know. I'm not sure if you can hear, but the music and um, playing in the background is nice and relaxing. Like it's nice and relaxing. So I'm just trying to get a hang of this new character. It's nice and relaxing, and it doesn't jump out. As much as some other dungeon crawler music, sometimes it, the music will take over what's happening on the screen, and it just distracts you in general with what's going on. So it's uh, to me that is a, a win. Obviously, for some other people that might not be a win because they might want to use a ma uh, magic, so use that music as a distraction from. The actual gameplay obviously as i mentioned before the transforming does add a layer to this whole uh, dungeon crawling it's uh, the menus are very simple to reverse very very simple like obviously as i commented about the art style before it's very very cartoony but it in a way that stands out and just draws you in a bit more because it's not every day you see characters drawn in this way and it's it just for me it did draw me in it's a uh, very simple to understand the attacking mechanic but i can understand in future dungeons you will um you will have a skill gap, there's no way around it. You probably will end up with a, a skill gap. It just, it's just how it is. It, and it, it does have a multiplayer mechanic. Oh, let me transform into the wrap. As I said, the menus are very easy to traverse. Like how quickly I change over to the wrap then. I need to zoom through these, got some health back. There we go. And there we go. Oh, we've got quite a lot of health and money. It is highly reviewed by multiple um, places, like IGN, I believe, gave it a 8.5. So it's highly reviewed and highly anticipated. Of course, it's only on Game Pass, so it's only for Microsoft products sadly, uh, sadly for all your all your playstation players you would not be able to get your hands on this unless obviously you have game pass and pc it does take around 12 to 14 hours to complete but if you want to complete it 100 it's only going to take you a tiny bit longer to 8 and 16 sorry and for me, it does have quite a few replayability aspects. Obviously, with it being a dungeon crawler, so there's going to be some grinding involved. Which, with this music, this music helps you grind. And that's everything for me for this uh, review. I highly, highly re uh, like this game. I will give this game 4 out of five hit markers and before i go hit that subscribe button ring that bell 
and let me know if there's any other games you would like me to review there'll probably be quite a few of these review videos that'll come out most likely they will come out after i play the game for my other series on my channel or game pass roulette if i feel like that game hasn't been known as much or not that many people do know as that game i'll probably do a quick review like i just had done today and just let you know about it but this has been mk10 gamer i'm gonna head back to the range and just continue grinding as this small a small little rat thank you and good night <laughs>